Hi, I'm Claude from Wilderness Skills. Welcome to this video where I'm going to talk about this bag from 511. The Rush 12 is part of a series of three bags from 511. The other two are Rush 24 and Rush 72. And the numbers should describe how many hours that you can uh, survive or have equipment packed into this bag. So the Rush 12 gives you 12 hours, 24 gives you 24 hours and 72 gives you 72 hours. It's a great bag and I'll tell you a little bit about all the details and uh, my own experiences with it. But uh, let me just show you how it looks on me when I'm carrying it. The weight of the bag is about 1.2 kilograms and it is made out of 1050 denier cordura nylon, so it's really, really sturdy material. The main compartment here is about 45 centimeters in height, 27 and a half centimeters in width and approximately 15 centimeters in depth. There is an admin compartment here, size is 30 centimeters in height, 22 in width and about 4.5 centimeters in depth. And here in the back there is also a hydration room. Let's uh, start up here in the top where we have a really good uh, grab handle. It is made out of a uh, two inch piece of webbing which are sewn together here to a one uh, inch piece of webbing. Really really sturdy and uh, nice to uh, grab onto. On both sides we have a opening either for hydration or you can use it as an antenna port if you have a radio inside your, uh, your pack here. Then just uh, behind the grab handle there is a fleece lined room where you can have a uh, pair of glasses, uh, sunglasses or uh, some kind of electronics, really nice. Going uh, forward here we have a uh, Storm flap which covers the zipper to the main compartment. Then we have a smaller room here. Really nice size. Got a cliff bind here. Uh, you can use this room for uh, all sm small necessities and so on. YKK zipper with a uh, piece of uh, string. And the zipper is dimensioned to its purpose. And that goes for all the zippers. They're all YKK zippers and they are dimensioned to its purpose or maybe even uh, over dimension, so that's a really good thing. On all the external zippers here, there are these uh, pulleys with this uh, small uh, plastic thing here in the end here, really nice. Continuing down uh, forward here, we have uh, two rows of uh, pelts, where on the top here you have also a row of uh, velcro, so you can put a name tag or whatever you want. Then we come down to the admin compartment, again where we have uh, some rows with uh, pelts webbing, in this area here, there are some uh, Velcro and uh, you can still use the uh, pouch webbing uh, behind that. Continuing down here to the bottom, there is a couple of uh, areas here where there are some webbing. So you can uh, take a piece of webbing through here and then you can attach uh, either a sleeping bag or a tent or a sleeping mat or whatever you want. And there are also two drainage holes, so if you get water inside your bag, you can drain them out here. Continuing to the uh, back side, we have a really nice uh, carrying system. Uh, it's a yoke system and it is really well padded uh, to the size, uh, so it's, uh, I think it's really great and as you can see here it's contoured also. Here in the top there's a piece of uh, webbing on both sides where you can secure your drinking system or uh, whatever you want. And that also goes for these uh, small pieces of uh, webbing down here. Then you have a good and sturdy sternum strap, a small piece of elastic band here, and a larger piece of webbing where you can adjust it. In the end here, there's a small piece of elastic band, so uh, when you've adjusted your uh, webbing, you can just pull it up, pull this out, and then it will secure the webbing here, so 
the uh, ends don't uh, flap around and that goes for all the, the webbing on the on the back here. The buckle here is one of the uh, nicer ones uh, with the uh, the click sound that I really like. Um, and the uh, sternum strap here is adjustable. There is a small uh, D-ring here with a small slit in it. So you can just take that off and move that up and down so it uh, fits you perfectly. Going uh, further down here on the carrying system, there is a larger buckle here which you can use for detaching uh, the carrying system really uh, quickly if you need that. Again, there is a long piece of webbing here you can adjust um, so it fits you perfectly. Then we end up here in the bottom where we have uh, two large D-rings so you can actually attach a uh, hip belt if you want that. Normally I don't wear hip belts on a bag this size but uh, for me it's uh, about 30 to 35 liters before I, uh, I'm using hip belts. But if you, if you prefer that you can use it here, um, no problems in that. Looking here on the back side, see there are some reinforcements here up close to your shoulders and also down here uh, at the waist, uh, again with some extra reinforcements down here uh, where the back uh, will uh, maybe uh, touch your, uh, your lower part of the back uh, even more so uh, to prevent the, uh, the bagging getting uh, torn up down here. There's also a drainage hole which goes directly into the bladder compartment so if you have water inside there, your bladder maybe uh, has a leak then the water can drain out right here. Really nice uh, feature. The padding is not that uh, that high here, so uh, there is a limited flow of air in this area here. It hasn't bothered me um, at all, uh, no matter how much um, I was carrying or how hot it was. Um, it still felt uh, quite fine. Then we have the uh, bladder area. If you look at the uh, 511's homepage, it states that you can have a bladder uh, of... Uh, a size up to 1.7 liters. But I actually use this uh, bladder from uh, Source and uh, it's a 3 liter. It's uh, one of the new ones uh, which is a little bit uh, smaller in height but uh, a little bit bigger in uh, width. And I also think that the newer um, camelback bladders they also fit in here. That's a, this is a 3 liter bladder and it fits perfectly inside the, the back here. The uh, bladder is secured by this uh, piece of webbing here, with a uh, piece of uh, velcro. But if you have other types, there are these uh, two uh, plastic toggles here, where you can attach your uh, bladder to also. And then up here in the top, there is a uh, small hole going into the uh, main compartment, where you can take your uh, hose and uh, feed that through, and then out of uh, one of the ports here on the side. Then here in the uh, in the area which are closest to your back, there is a small pocket here with a small thin uh, plastic shield. Um, this uh, prevents, uh, you know, if you have uh, things uh, which are pointy uh, in uh, hurting your back. So um, it's a really thin shield, but um, it does its job. You can, of course, also uh, uh, put small uh, items in here. Uh, paper or a map or something in here, um, but it's a, it's a really tight fit. Looking here on the side, again we have a lot of pouch webbing, and we also have a piece of uh, webbing here with a buckle on. Uh, some people call this a compression strap. Um, I don't uh, totally agree with that uh, due to the angle here and also due to the fact there is only one of them. In my opinion, if it should be a compression strap, you should have t at least two of them so you can compress the whole bag. As of now, you can only compress or uh, cinch in the, the top part here. So for me, it's more like an adjustment strap uh, which secures the items inside the bag in, uh, in, uh, in moving around and not a compression strap. Let's uh, look inside the uh, bag here in the admin area. Again the size of that one was uh, 30 centimeters times 22 times 4.5. Really nice uh, YKK zipper and a small uh, flap here which prevents water in entering uh, the zippered area. 
As you can see, it's almost like a clamshell type. When you open the back here, I have two small pockets here. I have a uh, pair of gloves here and a small uh, notebook. Then you have two uh, small uh, slit pockets here, a couple of uh, pockets here for um, pens and uh, pencils, and in this one here is a little bit larger. I have a uh, small True Night flashlight. Then you have a large deep pocket here, and then you have a zippered pocket up here, also uh, YKK, and a piece of string. Goes all the way down to the bottom. Got a small uh, hard drive here. And here on both sides you have a small piece of webbing with a plastic carabiner where you can place your keys or whatever you want. Really nice uh, admin area. I already show you the uh, small pocket up here and then uh, let's go into the main compartment. Again, a really, really large zipper, and as you can see again here, almost a clamshell type opening. We're missing maybe a quarter of an inch, um, but uh, this, is, uh, this is really fine. Up here in the lid, we have uh, two uh, pockets with the mesh, and uh, they are both zippered. Here in the bottom one I have my uh, charger for my uh, MacBook. Really nice with these uh, mesh pockets so you can see what's in them. Then we have the uh, main compartment. Got a uh, book and a uh, notebook. And in here we have a uh, really large room. Uh, there is a big pocket here. I put my 13-inch uh, uh, MacBook. And you should actually be able to uh, put a 15-inch uh, laptop in uh, this room here. has a uh, piece of uh, bungee cords with a uh, plastic lock here, so you can uh, secure your items uh, in here. This uh, small uh, pocket here is the uh, fleece-lined pocket uh, on top of the, uh, of the bag, which goes inside here. And then you can see here the entrance to the uh, bladder compartment and my hose uh, going out here and uh, through the, uh, the, uh, the right hand port. Nothing else uh, inside the, uh, the main compartment here. You can get this uh, Rush 12 from 5.11 in four different colors. In black, double tap, which is a kind of gray. Uh, in sandstone, which is this color, and in multicam. If I'm gonna share my own experiences with this uh, bag here, well, the cons, I think the, uh, the weight is a little bit high. It's a 24 liter, but it weighs about 1.2 kilograms empty. And for me, I think that's a little bit high. Of course, it's uh, because of the uh, the uh, thick material is made of, 1050 Kodura, and also the, uh, the quality itself. It's uh, all the bubbles and, uh, and uh, zippers and so on are dimensioned or over dimensions to a purpose, so that of course uh, adds a little bit more weight. Then also what I don't like is that the, these uh, straps here, they are not compression straps as I see it personally. I would rather have a couple of straps, one down here and one up in the top, so you can compress the whole bag like this and not just this one here uh, at an angle. I see this more as, a, uh, as an adjustment uh, strap to secure the, the items inside the bag in the rattling around. Um, the pros, and there's a lot of those, um, there is a really good possibility of uh, organizing all your equipment inside the bag. A lot of small pockets um, and uh, good ways of uh, being able to organize the, uh, the, the items that you have. And also all the pulse webbing on the, on the front here and on the sides gives you the possibility of adding pockets 
um, and pouches. I really like that. Then also the uh, all the YKK uh, zippers, dimensioned or maybe over dimensions to its purpose, gives gives it a really good feel. And the same goes with all the buckles. Really, really nice uh, quality. And I like the uh, the fleece pocket up here in the in the top where you can put your uh, glasses or uh, your sunglasses or any electronics without uh, being afraid of them being scratched. Then I also like the clamshell opening both here in the admin area and also in the main compartment. Uh, I really like that feature. So you have full access to all your equipment inside the uh, the bag. And I also like that. Uh, 511 has given you the opportunity to uh, use a hip belt if you prefer that. Uh, again, um, for me personally, I'm up in the 30 to 35 liters before I'm uh, using a uh, hip belt, but that's a personal preference. And the last thing that I really like about the bag is when you read about it on uh, 511's homepage, well, what they write about it, uh, the purpose and its functions, it is absolutely true. Uh, everything is uh, correct um, and you can use this as a 12 hour. Uh, go back or grab back if you like. You can use this uh, in the what you would call it in the civilian life. Uh, if you use a uh, black, you can use it in the office. You can use it as a more tactical bag using uh, these colors here or the, um, the multicam. And uh, you can use it in like all ways of life. Um, so um, that's a really really good thing for me. If I'm going to give this uh, bag a grading from zero to ten, where I compare price to quality. Well, I would give it a solid nine. Um, I could find it online to about $80 uh, for the, the solid colors and up to about $120 for the multicam. Um, if I'm going to give it a grading on usability, well, I'm really close to a 10, but um, I have to go down to a solid nine. The reason for that is the high weight and also that there is no uh, as I see it, compression straps uh, on the back here, so you cannot compress the back uh, as I would like to see it. So I can easily recommend this bag to anyone, uh, no matter if you're a hunter uh, in the military, uh, active duty or reserves, uh, if you're a civilian, just want a really nice bag uh, to carry your electronics in, um, or maybe even as a school bag. No problems at all with this bag. Um, it is high high quality and uh, I'm sure that this will follow me for many years uh, coming. And remember if you want to see my coming videos subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.